Let me ask you something. What's the very first thing you touch in the morning? Your phone, your alarm, your worries maybe because most people unknowingly train their brain for stress before they even get out of bed. Your brain is already deciding what kind of day you're going to have. Not emotionally, biologically. I'm Dr. Arif and welcome to the Brain Project. And here's what really happening. When you wake up, your brain is in a soft, open state. It's not fully alert yet. It's not logical yet. It's listening. And it asks one simple question. Is today safe or urgent? Whatever the answer is, that question first becomes the tone of your entire day. So let's talk about how to intentionally train your brain for calm, focus and clarity. Starting from the moment you wake up. Number one, before your phone, before messages, before news, light, natural light tells your brain, it's morning, you're safe, you're orientated. Melatonin drops, alertness rises naturally. But when the first thing you touch is information, your brain skips orientation and jumps straight into reaction mode. That's why scrolling first in the morning does not feel productive, it feels more stressful. Number two, your brain doesn't wake up through motivation. It wakes up through movement, a few steps, a stretch, standing near a window, that's enough. Movement increases blood flow. Dopamine gently rises, your brain simply checks, okay, I'm here, I'm alive. No pressure, no discipline, just presence. Number three, your brain wakes up slightly dehydrated every morning. That matters more than most people realize. Water supports circulation and oxygen flow. It literally helps your brain think. Caffeine, on the other hand, amplifies whatever state your nervous system is already in. So water first is clarity. Caffeine first is anxiety, jitters, and scattered focus. That's why some mornings feels wired, but unfocused. <laughs> Number four, your brain loves patterns. When your morning has a simple, repeatable flow, your nervous system relaxes. No decisions, no urgency, same order, same small action. Less decision-making in the morning equals more mental energy later. Structure feels calming to the brain. Now, number five, food is information for your brain. Protein and healthy fats signal safety and stability. Sugar alone creates spikes and then it just crashes. And the brain experiences those crashes as anxiety or fog or irritability even. You're not eating for discipline. You're eating so your brain doesn't feel like it's under threat. Number six, this is the one most people skip. Just 60 seconds. No phone, no goal, no productivity. Just a pause. That pause tells your nervous system there is space today. And once the brain feels that, everything softens. So if your days often feel rushed before they even begin, if you feel behind without knowing why, it may not be your workload. It may be the very first signal your brain receives early morning. Because the first thing you touch doesn't just start your day. It teaches your brain how the day will feel. And once the brain learns that, it carries that lesson forward. 